uh, seven principles, and these apply all the time, not just during um, COVID-19. And um, these are great outdoor ethics to live by. Um, so number one is plan ahead and prepare. Um, so when you're going to an area, um, you want to you know, know what the weather is, know what you need to be wearing. Um, if you're going outside, sunscreen. If you're going in the water, make sure that you have a, a set of dry clothes, things like that. Um, during COVID, some things that you could plan ahead, uh, like it said in the article, closures. Uh, make sure that you can pack out your trash so you can bring a extra big Ziploc baggie with you and you can take like all of your trash and shove it in there and then put it back in your backpack and just take it out with you and it'll help park staff uh, be able to minimize the trash that's in the area. Uh, number two is travel and camp on durable surfaces. Um, while some places are going to be get, getting more crowded, especially because everybody is super ready to get out of their houses and we're super excited for you guys to get back into the parks. Um, when you're like in parks uh, with trails and things like that, it's important that you stay on the trail um, just because we don't want to crush the vegetation or encroach on the wildlife habitats that are off of the trails. Um, so keeping uh, social distancing in mind, um, if somebody's walking up the side of the trail and you see them coming, um, you can stop and make sure that you maintain the six feet uh, distance as they pass you on the trail instead of getting off of the trail. Uh, number three, dispose of waste properly. Um, like I said, pack it out with you, whatever you're bringing in, you can pack it out. Um, also, if you go back to plan ahead and prepare, um, you can take a lot of your food out of the wrappers. Um, a lot of our foods are in cardboard and plastic and things like that. And we can reduce reduce waste um, by almost 80% if we are, were all ready to take our food out of the wrapper. Just put it in one big plastic bag, eat it, and then you can just take whatever trash back with you and you wouldn't have to be carrying around all these giant like Cheez-It boxes and things like that. Um, leave what you find. Um, so today we are recording this video at Fort King National Historic Landmark. And um, when you think about leaving what you find, um, especially in places um, with historical or even, you know, seashells or rocks or things like that, it's really important to leave what you find in nature in nature if it belongs there. If you do see trash, um, like masks or gloves, please take those out with you because they obviously don't belong in nature. But artifacts, um, anything like rocks, like I said, that um, belong in those natural spaces, please leave those there because we want other people to come by and be able to see those things as well. Uh, minimize campfire impacts. So um, I'm not sure, like I said, you'd have to check your plan ahead and prepare but I'm sure that people are gonna be camping uh, this summer and um, also barbecuing in the parks and things like that. Um, make sure that if um, fires are allowed, that you are in a designated fire area. Um, if you're camping, use a fire ring that has, is already there. Um, if you add another fire ring to the ground, um, that's just making more space on the ground that's taking up all these ugly looking fire rings. And eventually, if you go to the same campsite, there's just gonna be fire rings everywhere and it's not gonna be as beautiful as uh, you remember going to in the first place. Uh, respect wildlife. This one is super, super important. So with all of us super eager to get outside, uh, we wanna make sure that we still are respecting um, all of our friends that live in the outdoors, which is the animals. Um, you don't want to be feeding the animals. You don't wanna be getting too close to them. Still give them their distance. Um, and you know, this is their home. You wouldn't want somebody walking into your home and littering all over the place and poking you with sticks and things. So it's really important to remember that we're coming into their home, so let's respect them and treat it that way. And then last is be considerate of other visitors. And we spoke about that a little bit earlier um, about the article, but you wanna make sure, especially during uh, times like this, that we're really being considerate to one another. Um, we're maintaining our distance from each other. We're not leaving trash behind that somebody else has to pick up. And just be kind. Um, everybody's going through some hard times right now, so let's just be kind to each other. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned some new outdoor ethics that you can use uh, during this time and always in the outdoors. And I'll see you guys next time.